Hello YouTube, Destination Lego here and welcome to this Lego Technic set review. So this is the Desert Racer set 42027. And this comes with a piece count of 149, it's for ages 7 to 14 and retails here in the UK for £17.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay guys, so we'll have a closer look at this set in a second. Um, you can see the instruction manual there. Hopefully you just saw both the front and the rear of the box. Main feature on this is it is another one of these sets that has this pullback mechanism, but I will show you that operating in just a second. So let's take our first look at the Desert Razor. Okay, there we go. So there's our first look at this Lego Technic set, the Desert Racer. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is give this a quick 360 tour, then we'll take a closer look. Okay, so let's give this Desert Racer a quick 360 spin round. So you start with that side view and moving around. Now looking at the front of the vehicle. And obviously round to the opposite side. And then finally around now looking at the rear of the vehicle. And you would have noticed those big chunky wheels and tyres on this set. Okay guys, let's now take a closer look. Okay, so a few things to point out on this. First of all, obviously there's stickers. So we can see here there's a sticker um, on the side of the door there. Um, on the front of the vehicle there. And then if we look on the roof... There are two stickers there and there, and the same on the other side. We have that sticker there on the front, and then obviously that one there again, um, down on that side door. I mentioned before, they've got these really cool looking um, chunky wheels and tyres. Okay, so moving round to the front, we can see some of the detailing up here, up on the... Um, top is obviously uh, the air intake there at the top of the engine so we can zoom in a bit closer and see that there again as we move round also we get a closer look at that front end there you can see hanging down there there is a winch so if I just move that back there so this is actually operated um, you can see there there are some cranks and cog pieces in there and this is the one that actually operate it so if we turn that you can see there and I move that back I'll just pull that forward there you'll be able to see that obviously out and then if I turn it the opposite way you can now see that winch obviously going back in okay so other feature on this is this roof piece here it does actually come up not all the way but it comes up to that far there which obviously does give access um, to the driver's seat area which we can see there as that sat down in that position I'll spin it around you obviously get that view inside the cab there if I put this down the actual steering wheel is right in here so it's fixed to this piece here as you can see there as that raises up okay going around to the rear we obviously have some of this detailing along the rear here so as you can see there are some rear lights and then these awesome looking exhausts which obviously come out high and at an angle up on again going back to that roof um, up on the top there there are obviously these studs which represent lights across the top. So again, just all adding to the details um, with regards to this Desert Racer. I think it is a great set again. Great use of these Lego Technic pieces. I think they've done a fantastic job. Um, and in there you can see there is actually a seat um, blue in there. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show that winch mechanism again, so hopefully you can see this. 
down here. Apologies because it's under my desk and obviously it is a bit dark underneath there. So that's it obviously hanging down from the front of the vehicle. Now magically we are going to make a minifigure appear now. Uh, okay there we go. So this isn't just any normal minifigure. This is actually my sig fig. So you can see him there now dangling um, at the end of that winch. So we're just going to operate this winch and lift him back up. Hopefully to safety. Just to show that this does, this mechanism does work. If I can get to it and keep the camera shot, that is. So again, just twist that piece there. And there we go. That's the sig fig lifted back up to safety. Right, so the final feature on this set is the one I pointed out at the beginning. This is one of the pullback set so again just simply pull back like so and release and then obviously the vehicle will move forward or propel forward and again just put it back a bit further and there it goes right there we go that's my review of this set complete just to recap again this is the lego technic desert racer set 42027 Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it that big thumbs up to show me that you did and please to support me. Um, as always, any comments, feedback, questions, etc. Welcome down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!